Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and make a comment in my videos. And check out my instructional DVDs, which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. Well, I don't normally work on Sunday. I like to take a day of rest, but uh, I've got friends coming today, and uh, I just wanted to get this a little bit further along so they can see what it's going to look like. And just playing with the uh, idea with a beard, how to give it some more character without making it more expensive to produce it. I think I came up with an idea. So I'm experimenting with it. That's just adding little triangular shaped pieces of clay to the beard on top of the smooth part to give it some three dimension. Yes. What can you do? Okay. Now this is the next day. I didn't get much work done today at all. I've been so busy this last few days. Anyway, just, uh, it's about 9 o'clock at night. And I just wanted to come down and work for about an hour or so. And uh, so I'm going to just add to the video that I did the other day. I had a gentleman tell me that uh, he thought the helmet should be more square on his head, and I, I, can't, I do have to agree with him, but if I made it more square, uh, the shadow would completely cover the eyes, and the eyes are what give it personality right now, so I'm going to stick with what I got. It's called artistic license. <laughs> You don't always do things exactly the way they would have been, but uh, you make them the way they probably should have been. If that makes sense. 
if you were directing the scene, that is. Oh, the cows are active tonight. I'm about one field away from a, a farm that has cows. and It's kind of cool to hear they're mooing at night. I tried to, I started to put uh, wrinkles in his eyes, around his eyes, but I think I'm going to redo, redo those. Oh, oh there it is. Too thick. take the helmet off for now yeah it looks nice that way but he looks like more like a monk than he does a viking <laughs> with a bald head Well, I took some of the hair away. I just thought it might be too much. And I'm just going to work on his eyebrows a little bit. Because I think I deleted them too much.
it's it's turning out good i think let me see if i can get a light in the right angle here so you can see it is really hard to see with the uh the visor up there okay there we go that makes it just a little bit better but you can see the wrinkles that i worked in on the uh forehead and okay when they cast this uh, they'll probably have to cut that off this face mask um, and weld it back on once it's been cast because there's no way they're going to be able to cast that in place but the face looks good i'm happy with the wrinkling that i've got in it and i've got to work on the hair a little bit more especially the hair around his ears but uh i removed the hair from the front of his head uh, because I just thought it might be too much. And so that's what he looks like without his helmet on. Yeah, I want it to look like he's pushed the helmet up and he's looking at the commander or the captain or the leader of the raiding party and with wanting to be chosen to go along with uh, the, his uh, partners in crime to go on a raid. He feels like he can still split skulls. <laughs> and that's what they basically did. Although a lot of Vikings settled in eastern England and they came really a good addition to the country. All right. Uh, that's it for tonight. And I'll probably put this video out tomorrow. Because I it's almost 10 o'clock. And if I was to sit down and work on the video, it wouldn't be done until midnight. And it would be about 1 or 2 before I could get it out. So good night, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.